The, the primary foundation for effective discipleship is a strong relationship. Um, and I want to give you three ideas uh, very quickly about how to develop a strong relationship with your kids. And I just want to tell you, this is, this is what is the missing piece of the transition, is taking the time to develop that relationship. And there's three things, respect, um, sorry, where was I? Respect, time, and real conversations. Those are the three things. So respect. You remember the uh, Ephesians 6, 4, 4 verse, it says, fathers, do not provoke your children to anger. Um, do you know how we as fathers or mothers provoke our children to a- anger? How do we do that? Well, I discovered very clearly from Proverbs 15.1. You know what that says? It says, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So Proverbs 15.1 tells us how we provoke our children to anger, by being harsh. Okay, And so, so when we learn to treat our children with respect, okay, we give them space to be themselves. We speak to them with respect and with love. We don't discourage them. We don't um, make them feel stupid, right? When you treat them with respect as a human being, you are able to develop a real relationship with them. They know you care about them, and they're going to be able to open themselves up to you. It's, you know why it's in the Bible? For us not to provoke them to wrath with harshness, because that's what we do. Because it's hard. That's, that's what we struggle with. And so um, this is something for us to be aware of, to speak with gentleness and respect and encouragement to our kids. Uh, number two is time. So you can't have a relationship without time. I love spending time with my kids. We eat together. We go to church together. We worship together. We play games together. We watch stuff together. Um, we talk together. We celebrate together. Um, and if you haven't created a life rhythm that allows you to live um, in um relationship and time with your kids, then uh, you're not going to be able to develop that. All right, we already have some, I was just checking that. We have some questions come in. This is great. That's a good reminder. So if you guys are having questions about what I'm saying, what we're talking about, be sure you go to the question answer area and put those in. And and when I wrap this up here in a few minutes, uh, we'll go over some of those questions, okay? So respect and time which means you're going to have to take some time. And remember, time isn't just for discipleship. In other words, time can't just be, well, I have more instructions for you. I have more corrections for you for all the things you're doing wrong. The relationship has to be much more broad than that. It has to be playing and enjoying life together and eating and all of those other things. Okay, last one, which is pretty difficult sometimes, is real conversations. Having real conversations with your kids. I've I've always been haunted by this question that I want to ask you. Do you have your child's heart? I've I've been asked that a lot through the years. Do you have your child's heart? It's kind of a haunting question because it's really difficult. I don't know. Do I? What does it mean to have my child's heart? You know, uh, do I know their heart? That would be part of it. Do I know what they're thinking? See, if your kids are not sharing with you their questions and their processing, then you don't have their heart. So you have to learn how to have that real conversation with them, which means you're asking questions, you're listening carefully, you're showing interest, you're not shutting down everything that doesn't look right to you right off the the bat, you're processing things with them, you're sharing with them, you're being open, you're even being vulnerable and sharing things that you've struggled with. And when you have real conversations with that, the kids love it. They're going to have conversations with you. And I realize you can start really early. Uh, you know, my little kids would come up to me, and I'm sure you've had this. They come up to me and they want to show you a picture. They want to show you the thing they built, right? And they, they walk and say, look, Dad, look at this. And it's tempting sometimes to say, oh, yeah, that's great. You know, and just, hey, hey, listen, I, I can't really, I'm working right now or I'm doing, I can't really talk to you about that. Or you just say, oh, that's great. And you don't even look or something like that. But even when they're little, 
if you take that, that you know, picture and you go, wow, what is this here? Tell me about this and tell me about this. You're already telling them, I want to listen to you and I want to have a conversation with you. And so it's early on that you communicate to them that you want to have those conversations and be open. So anyway, these, these are some tips, respect, time, and real conversations to help you develop a relationship. And that's the context and the foundation for being able to disciple your kids.